and sadly, a 21-year-old pregnant woman was killed in the gunfire. She was making her mama proud. And all of a sudden, her life was stripped. So just to think of something like that happening to my granddaughter, that's, 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 that's where my mind went. Houston police say more than 30 shots were fired. This witness, who is in his 60s, says he can't believe young people today are now resorting to guns to solve their problems and has a message to hopefully stop the violence. No matter how bad it is, not seems, no matter how bad it is, it can still get better. But you got to seek some counseling. You got to put the guns down. You got to be able to reason. And you can't let your emotions direct your next step. And for the ones that did it, we seeking justice. I'm destroyed. And I held it to, so I couldn't hold it, hold it no more. I did. A family today shocked heartbroken and determined to get justice and carry on the legacy of this girl they love. We're going to do everything in our power to make her proud, make her happy. Twenty-one-year-old Autumn Valian was a loving, sweet, ambitious young woman who was considered a ray of sunshine by her friends and family. Autumn had big dreams of becoming a teacher and began taking classes to get closer to her goal. Most importantly, Autumn was five months pregnant and excited about giving birth to a baby boy, her first child, especially with the love and support of her family and friends. Things were really looking up for her. Autumn, along with several friends and family members, attended a birthday party at a local park. No one could have ever imagined that what was supposed to be a fun-filled and celebratory evening would quickly take a turn for the worst. Around 1.15 a.m. on July 22nd, Houston police responded to a shot spotter alert at Margaret Jenkins Park near Houston's Sunnyside for reports of a shooting. Upon arrival, they would find multiple people suffering from gunshot wounds. It was a violent Friday night at Margaret Jenkins Park in Houston's Sunnyside, a gathering turning deadly after an altercation led to a shootout around 1 a.m. Emotions is killing our generation. We spoke with a witness to the shooting who didn't want to be identified out of his own safety. And even though he was there, he says the reasons behind the violence is unknown. I really can't tell you past two people having an argument that went array instantly. It almost seemed like they were here for it, for each other. And they wasn't because they're real good friends. These are your friends. That, that did this. Real good homeboys. How disappointing is that for you to see? I can't say disappointing, because disappointing is too light of a word for what actually happened. I was terrified. The victim was identified as 21-year-old Autumn Valian, who was sadly pronounced dead at the scene, along with her unborn child. Three other individuals were taken to a local hospital, including two possible suspects. A fifth person was grazed by a bullet and did not go to the hospital. A look into the case revealed that a fight led to more than 30 shots being fired. However, it is unclear exactly what started the argument. According to Autumn's mother, who sadly witnessed the entire event unfold right before her eyes, most of the people at the party were people who Autumn would consider friends. As her and Autumn prepared to leave the event, a commotion began between several individuals, at which point guns were drawn, followed by multiple gunshots. As the gunshots unfolded, Autumn and her mother began running. When her mother looked over to make sure Autumn was right behind her, she would find her on the ground, suffering from a gunshot wound to the head. The saddest part of it all is that Autumn had been sitting inside of a vehicle the entire night. Shortly after she decided to exit the vehicle, everything quickly unfolded. <laughs> Through agonizing grief, Ebony Valian recalled the moment she watched as her daughter, 21-year-old Autumn Valian, took her last breath early Saturday morning. An argument led to another argument escalated to a shootout. Houston police say roughly 36 shots were fired during a fight at a birthday cookout on the south side just after 1 o'clock Saturday morning in Margaret Jenkins Park. Police say five people were shot. Three of them had to be rushed to area hospitals. Family members say Autumn was pronounced dead at the scene while trying to run for cover. They took my baby over the seats. Trigger happy. 
For Autumn's family, the pain is twofold, having lost her unborn baby Saturday too. Our first time seeing the baby would be when we bury her. We would never get the chance to see her as a mother. A soon-to-be mother who family says was on the verge of a new beginning. Happy as she can be the last two weeks. Everything was perfect. Went on a job interview, excited about working. Those dreams tragically cut short, leaving only the memories of a life taken too soon. She's the sweetest. <laughs> no problem. The easiest person to get along with. It could have been me. And it could have been better. So give my baby a chance to be a mother. Visibly distraught, angry, and shocked, her family vows to get justice and won't stop until they do so. Family and friends gather for a vigil and balloon release to honor the life of a young woman who meant so much to many and a child who never had a chance at life. Yellow balloons were released as a symbol of Autumn's favorite color and her bright and beautiful spirit. It's definitely been a very, very tough time for all of us. Um, tragedies like this are never expected. Here at Margaret Jenkins Park, where a barrage of gunfire abruptly ended a birthday celebration Saturday morning, loved ones of 21-year-old Autumn Lachey Valiant, who was killed along with her unborn son Amaris, returned to celebrate their lives. It's just been great for all of us to actually come together um, to embrace each other. At 1.14 Saturday morning, Houston police say shot spotter technology detected 36 shots that blazed through the crowd. It wasn't meant for her. She was just there. One stray fatal bullet struck Valiant as family members say she was running towards her mother to try and protect her. Literally, when I hear people say that on the news, my baby didn't deserve that. She was at the wrong place at the wrong time. I always felt for them. But to literally feel this, because that was our perfect baby. Known for her bright smile as someone who everyone loved, always put family first, and rarely went out to parties. She's known as a daddy's girl, and she was my sweet baby. It will be the sweet memories then up the stairs he would carry me. that live on in their hearts. Investigators believe that two of the individuals that were shot are potential suspects. Both have been detained, and they are working to find additional suspects. Autumn's family, along with law enforcement, are encouraging anyone with information to come forward. The case remains ongoing.